what yeah. we were definitely seeing here because there's been a lot of violent procs throughout the day, been a lot of additional turns. Those occult girls are highly volatile with that first skill, and of course, all of them being ruined up on violent as well. It's insane. Pre bands getting locked in right here. Chiru and Laura going to be the pre bands to get into this first match between True Whale and Big V. Welcome to the finals, my friends. Here we go. True Whale with. First pick is the Wedjet hitting the field, or will he prefer an elemental monster like the Cigar or the Wind and Bison in this case? Yeah, super interesting first pick here coming out of True Will, bringing the, uh, the Wind and Bison to the draft here. Big V looking to draft uh, two units, and sometimes we see this alongside of, um, you know, potentially... Um, uh, um, not, not Vanessa, I'm sorry. The Chiwu is what he would bring. So it was like mm. Chiwu into uh, Wind and Bison. So it looks like this might be a take pick here coming from True Whale. We've got an early Annabelle coming out of Big V with that segment. I love seeing that monster coming into the meta. You know, like I said, it feels a little bit like EU Cup. Uh, more bruiser comps love bringing the Annabelle, 100% res, a monster that brings so much to the table. Death break, slow, cleanse, heal. And now, yes, finally, the Wedget hits the field and then the Sean. Do you feel like this Sean being in there gives an opportunity for Big V to just pick comfortably, you know, a Colt girl, then uh, maybe he can even bring a Ragdoll, something like that, and then last pick a Leo if there's an opening for it? I feel like I still want to see a AoE strip coming out of True Will before I saw that Sean hit the table here. Mm -hmm. um, with that being said, I think Sean and Widget, obviously great picks to be bringing into uh, into a draft, so I'm totally fine with that. Big V bringing that Dak, uh, putting Princess Elena, and of course this Fire Monk King, which we know can, can be pretty insane to, to draft. This definitely signals that the Sean's going through, though. Yeah, I love the Meiho Wang click, and reminding people at home, this is a monster that can't be controlled. Inability effects don't apply to him. The only way to kill is you gotta death break it, you gotta kill it some other way, but you're not gonna stun him. And here it is, rounds it out very consistent draft double speed lead double reset double attack bar uh, double everything and then a kinky to close it out so very good units against aoe the only thing is it looks like this annabelle will need to pray for either resist or yeah i like that better i called the the leo very early you know i think it's a very strong unit in this matchup and maybe a must ban yeah i think when the leo comes in there leo's 100 percent going to be that ban here mm -hmm. let's keep in mind that there is no speed lead on the side of big v as well and we know how fast <laughs> the segment can be so are we going to look at a similar situation where we get a 24 speed lead is true will taking turn one away from this segment because how fast is it going up against true whale this time yeah if he bends he bends one of the resets i like that choice because now the annavel only has to resist the chunk punk to bring this game back if you let the double resist through the double reset through there would be too dangerous here we go stoic wow. turn one for the water ryu there it is. A little bit of attack bar pushback as well. And we've got the... Um, Wet Jack. The Wet Jack. Tyke in turn two will boost his whole team. Gets that extra attack bar. Now, does he choose to just reset or go for the strip? I would go for the strip because he has the Sean following closely through. Ooh, but he plays it safe. Matter. Yeah, now, a lot of additional damage, though, coming out of that serious yeah. matter as well. Of course, we've got skills available. Gets only two stuns because he can't stun up that Fire mm -hmm. Monkey King. I would probably go for an attack break on that Fire Monkey King. Try to keep that unit back from doing totally a little bit of damage. Totally agree. Either way, this Annabelle will probably okay. just heal and cleanse the whole team because she resisted. She kept that immunity, and now he wants to bring it up, but remembering that he has a lot of attack bar. He's going to play with his whole team ahead of Big V's. Yep, there it is. So it does go for the big cleanse. Everyone is back to full health. And of course, we've got that first skill. It, looking to push back attack, but I don't believe it did anything on that segment, though. If Death Break lands, there's a lot of options for Sean to try to kill someone right now. Who is he going for? Is it the Annabelle? Is it the Pure Vanilla? Ooh! Oh, it's the Pure Vanilla, but with additional turn. There is no cleanse, though, to stop that unit. It is going to be dropping here. Drew Will putting Big B on the back foot, removing Elena from the field. Everything is landing on this monkey. No death break. He needs to bring the match back. Now there's so much space for this Sean to do damage. If he keeps procking like this, he'll have skill three next turn. Right now he can try to remove this end of the oh, Look at no. that damage. True Will looking dominant right here. There's going to be a lot of praying going on. He resists. Resisted. He still gets his third skill. Yes. He's going off here. 
Big skill too, a lot of additional damage hitting the table right now. We've got Widget with a skill too as well, speeding up this team. Widget, uh, Widget. Chung Pung looking to push back a little bit of attack by here. Yeah, sincerely, I love the playstyle from True Will so far. Very careful. He didn't risk anything. You know when players make risky plays? This match, he said, I'm not doing any of that. I'm just going full care. Oh, wow. He gets a big Brock, can get this monkey very, very low, but remembering that on his skill two, he heals, so, you know, he needs a Brock. Well, I think Big V needs to see a stun here to keep this unit alive with an additional turn on top of that. And it did, I think Big V's in the realm where he's in that 27% chance looking to proc here and still not procking with that unit. Did and proc with Mei Ho Wang. This might mean the end of the match and Big V starts thinking about what he can do in the future in match number two because the oppressiveness of this comp the wet jet together with the Sean has been so effective and the ban on the Leo was on point, Stoic. Yeah, it really was some absolutely flawless play in this round one between True Whale and Big V. True Whale taking a commanding lead as we finish up that round one right there. True Whale with the first point on the board. A uh, huge first point from True Whale. Very dominant game. Like you said there, Seppi, he's playing like he has everything to lose. Mm-hmm. He's being extremely careful. We even saw in that turn one with the Chunk Punk, he hey. could have risked it all. Hey! hey. 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 Could have risked it all and used skill two to strip, but he didn't go greedy. He just used skill three to push back and reset, and he knew that the Annabelle could have only heal and cleanse, but he would have his whole team playing ahead because of Wedge Jet. All right, let's see these pre-bans get locked in here. Pre-bans are gonna be Wedge Jet Laura getting pre-ban in this second round matchup. I really like that. I think that the Wedge Jet definitely left an impression on Big V and he doesn't want to deal with it again. Yeah, well, Big V has that first pick here. A lot of things that could happen here, but he is going to be taking that Cigar. So Cigar, definitely a unit that Big V's trying to uh, uh, go back to where True Will took it in that first round. Good point, and now he has access to the Chi Wu, right? So will True Will do something about that or just continue with his consistent play style? The Sean coming out, that kind of telegraphs, answers that might come out over here later on, Ragdoll, Leo, stuff like that. Do Fire units like show up for you right now. What are you thinking that's going through oh, Big right. V's mind? Interesting. Well, he's he's drafting in this Chi Wu and taking in this Nikki. I can't help but feel like Truel's trying to bait out a Leo. I feel like that's yeah. kind of what's happening with that. Locking in the, of course, initial damage by speed in a speed scaling unit, mm -hmm. just like that, Sean. We'll see what happens here, because I think there's a uh, a world where Truel goes turn one, starts bringing in more you know units that are taking advantage of that, where mm -hmm. we're looking at a potential uh, Leo ban here, or Leo uh, uh, last pick here for Big V. Ooh, I like stealing away the segment, because now you're not that worried about another fast unit. Now Big V has to pick another quick unit and a speed lead, or he just sits back and gets turned to, you know, can bring the kinky again, that kind of stuff. Interesting question is about this mm -hmm. Ryu. We've seen how fast it is. It was even faster than the wedge jet. Is this a swift water Ryu? That's what I'm... I believe expecting. that, yeah. yeah it right? feels like a swift water Ryu for sure, because that was very, very quick. Mm -hmm. He was able to outspeed the segment. Who didn't have a speed lead? Mm -hmm. You know what? I was going to say, I have a feeling that the Annabelle is going to be dropping onto the field, but I kind of don't want to see the Annabelle at the moment, because I feel like that's not the unit to, to yeah. hit the field uh, when we have what already has been drafted by Truel. But Annabelle hits the field. We are looking at a Leo ban. You know what I would love? A triple revenge Verd into this. There's so many units that it counters right now, and like it plays that mind game with the Leo, right? Do I let the Leo through, but he chooses the safe choice, goes with another speed lead on Pontus. I think the Pontus is a little bit of a, a mind game as well, because he's playing that Pontus says, I might be banning out your Cigar, I might be banning out your, your Chi Wu at the yeah. same time. Good point. Yeah, if he bans the Chi Wu and the Cigar either misses or can't do anything, the Pontus outright wins this match by itself. Yep, that's right. Let's see what happens. I mean, there's a lot of options that uh, that could happen here in this band. We've got three seconds to find out what these options are going to be here. And it is going to be the Leo. Ooh. It is going to be the Sean. So Big V definitely knew that that Leo was going to get banned out there. Sean's going to get the ban. He goes for full speed, though. I think that Truewell has the upper hand with a segment right here. Will he manage to outspeed? Turn one as the segment. Can she get a reset on this Chiwu or... This won't happen. Does he go also? He has the option to go for the cigar. He goes for the Chi Wu oh, Resistant. Oh. I like the choice. Now he needs the cut in from the Water Ryu, but the reduction comes in on the two other units. 
Yep, there's that strip not being a full strip either. We're gonna see a ton of damage coming out of this third skill here, pummeling in this additional damage. Some really big numbers in there. Some units are looking very, very low right now. We're gonna see that third skill with the reset landing those provokes on top of that. Looking at a defense break him with the second skill from Saga. Yeah, that's why I was afraid of the Pontos because when you miss something like that, the Pontos is just stuck in there, can't do much. The Verde Hill would have given you an opportunity to come back. And True Well concedes 1 1. Big V takes. Game two. So this goes back to exactly what we keep saying before. When Sekhmet goes to set the tone, if Sekhmet doesn't land that, the likeliness of you losing that match is so great. Yeah. So much tempo is lost with that first opener in Sekhmet. Mm -hmm. this is it. And she's had a pretty good streak today. Yeah. Th there's one good thing, though. He got information on this Chiwu. You know that the Chiwu might come back on the table, right? So you see that the Chiwu is off of will, and you know that your segment is faster. So if you have another unit that can do that and not miss, like a Swift Ganny, you can bring it instead of the segment to counter him. So not all is lost with this. He got some info. <laughs> yeah, well, Swift Ganny is definitely something uh, you, you had to have pre-thought of and uh -huh. prepared. And I, I'm not too sure. A lot of people always have this. I think Swift Ganny is an excellent thing to bring in. At this, this level, tournament. like, I would be surprised. I remember Daniel Carioca, also that played in the America's Cup a couple of years back. He always used to have the Vio Ganny, Swift Ganny. Very powerful unit, but let's see what True Will does to adapt or just to stay in the comfort zone. Well, if you look at the pre bands down there, Chiwu and Laura yeah. are the ones getting pre banned out here. We've got the Cigar once again being a priority unit for both of these players. We have a 33 speed lead with the very fast segment. So that is Big V 100% claiming turn one's mine. Yeah. We'll see if the segment's more consistent for Big V than it was for True Will. But of course, we're going to be seeing definitely a swap of pace here, and it is going to be um, Wajet and Juno coming in. I really like that change, actually. He could have gone with, you know, the Water Ryu once again, but he went with the Juno, which tells you the opening for the Volantis, for the more reactive playstyle. He can even bring a Hay Gang, other stuff like that. So he's waiting. He's not making a decision. And Big V now has to decide where he goes. He brings the super strong Vanilla right now to put the oblivion on two of these very powerful units. And then also the heal blocks as well coming from the Nikki. That's going to be stopping the Wajet's passive. They're healing up everybody as well. So those are definitely some great picks that Big V just laid down on and the And the field. Juno as well. Very good point, Stoic. Yes, yeah, exactly. With the Juno as well, of course. Mm -hmm. Very good counters. The question right now is, does he set on that first turn? Does the Volantis come out? The Sean has been a priority pick. Chunk Bung. But noting this is the first time he doesn't pick double speed lead because that water Ryu is not present. Yep, exactly, yeah. Uh, let's see what Big V is going to be last picking here. This is definitely a, a Big V turn one play style because there is no speed. There is one speed lead on for, for True Will's side of the field there. But definitely nothing on that field is fast enough to outspeed that segment if the segment does go. I love the Verd. I was going to say that. Verd, Ban Wedjet. That is such a strong pick because there's two wind units. AOE, the Verda Hill has so many chances to counter. And now there's only the Sean as a big threat to remove stuff from the field. But you got two chances for the Verda to counter. And you still have the segment plus speedily turn one if it doesn't get banned. Yeah, we have a very interesting match ahead. Sean is going to get the ban. Oliver is going to get the ban here. Very interesting. I don't know. I would have preferred the Wedjet ban. I think Wedjet is so dangerous right here. The, it, it was a little bit of mind game. So since he didn't ban the Verd, the Wedjet getting through is super strong. And Wedjet takes turn one, my wow. friend, and outspeeds the segment. That's crazy, because we know how fast that segment mm -hmm. actually is. With skills available, he could go with three, but ends up getting go with skill two, getting the glancing on top of that vert heal as well. Super important, Stoic. Great note. Now he can get the strip and reset, Whoa. and gets it. The Juno, lots of damage. I love this draft out of True Will. So aggressive, so oppressive. And the big thing is, the Chung Pung will maybe get a chance to reduce everyone if there's no procs. The yeah. Nikki proc can be huge in this matchup. You can tell how big of a priority it is to get rid of this Verde heal because he's going in it, even though it is revenging here, he's really trying all he can to get rid of this unit. Does have third skill, he's gotta use that third skill. He has to, gets the resets. The Verd is countering every time. This is crazy. He needs to go for the Nikki probably and control her. The Vanilla is also a fine choice. He just goes for the Verd. This wow. is so dangerous. He it's wants to kill this monster more than everything. Yeah, 100%. I think he needs to go for the attack or pushback on top of that Nikki, though. Yeah. Opting uh, off, he's still getting the revenge here. This should everybody. be enough to kill, though. He's kill. gotta take that unit out. Does away with that unit. We do have skills available on top of this yeah. uh, uh, segment, though. 
I would just go for full AoE, death break into this, and then the damage from the Nikki, and that's what he does. He needs to be a little bit riskier right now and pray to not get stunned by this Wow, Jumel. he got the attack bar pushback through that glancing as mm -hmm. well. So pushing back the Nikki, everything that Jumel has is going to be going in front of the Nikki now. Yeah. That's very important because now if he lands a Provoke, that might be huge, misses it because of that glancing. Yeah, it definitely does. Going with that second scale, pushing up his team here. He's going to be looking for some despair stuns. I don't think he has to go for a desperate skill too here. I think he can hold on to it. Going with the skill ones for sure. Getting a little bit of attack bar push uh, uh, gain from this Juno. Very good point. And now the Nikki has the opportunity to sleep. Norprog! Oh. So there is two defense breaks on the field though. Yeah. So this can be a lot of damage that Big V's looking for. He has to think about it. Does he want the heal or does he want the damage? He goes for the safe choice of the heal. I would have gone for the damage like you suggest. Oh, he did get the only defense break Finally. that he needed. And it was on the Nikki. Oh, oh but the spare oh, stun on top of that. The Looking point. very good right now for True Whale. It is the first time this Nikki gets anything stoic in the whole day. The first death break that goes through resist, resist. He has to land and remove her off the field. If he kills the Nikki, this might be the match. Yep. Well, he does have the Oblivion with the second skill, and he's got to put this on any of these units. Never mind. Resist there is no Oblivion. The Chung Fung, what a pick. I told you, I love the wedge at wow. not getting back. 3.5 through the defense Such an break. impressive pick. And True Will drafting very consistently. Big V not respecting the wedge at might have cost him game number three. Yeah, there's that defense break landing on that deck. Pure Vanilla looking for an attack break to keep anybody back from doing more damage there. But you know what? The writing was on the wall for that one. True Will taking round at number three. Oh, very impressive, Evan. There's True Whale. Now at match point, potentially going to become America's Cup champion with one more win. Big V needs to bring it back. Like you said there, Seppi, that wedge at really the MVP. We've seen it. It usually ends up being an even a more even match. If the wedge at is out of the picture. Yeah, the wedge at just made the whole team go behind it and not have to deal with the trouble of the segment resetting someone. That is so powerful. If the wedge at was off the table, then that segment would have been extremely impactful or had a chance to be impactful, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, there's your pre-bans that Dr. Vanilla and the Wedget are banned out, not taking the cigar this time and going with the lore, taking that away from True Will. I like that choice. I still like the cigar on his side, but he swaps uh, and no. goes for a bruiser mode. He did this before and it worked out, but instead of Usa was Shizuka Ragdoll. So let's see how Big V responds to this. Very interesting. True Will playing some ga mind games right now. Yeah. I can't help but think a little early for the Ragdoll. <laughs> We've got a ragdoll, we got a Wusa on the field. I think it's it earlier for guys. the Wusa, my friend, because he can bring reset with Cigar and later on even a Chunk Pung. Let's see. Or maybe he wants to bait that out, right? Maybe he's thinking of that Leo gameplay. Yeah, potentially. We'll see what happens here. Annabelle gets locked in. Annabelle being such a clutch, great pick for Big V. Obviously, the Cigar, something that Big V likes to have in his wheelhouse, and now he has it again in the second round of his draft. True Wheel looking to respond, Ooh. taking Nikki himself. Oh, the Ooh. truly end. He prepared something specifically right here, Stoic. This does not look like chance. And let me tell you something, either a Verda Hill or a Leo last pick looks extremely mean, super impactful. Let's see what happens. Big V probably going to take his time after seeing something like that because we haven't seen a Julian. We did see a Julian later on uh, this day, but that's the first time we've seen Julian now right now for True Whale. We've got Oliver. We've got Chung Pong hitting the field. We have double wind units. I feel like you can just drop in a Douglas. And yeah, you're like, Dang, a I, Douglas well, is a must a ban. A Verd, a Juno, any fire unit is almost a must ban right here. The question right now is what is the ban? Do you not want to deal with this Oliver? Right here, Aaliyah would have been fine as well, but yeah. What, what, what is I mean, it's out probably of the, the Laura, to be honest with you. Yeah. I feel like Laura is, well, out of the resets, the resets are coming through no matter what. There's three of them on this field. Yeah. So I feel like it's happening. So you got to get rid of something that can be <sighs> extremely volatile. And it is probably the Laura, to be honest with you. Uh, it looks like Annabelle's going to get the ban. He takes out the only sustain. So he says, I don't think you can kill me fast enough. That's the proposal. Let's see what happens. Ragdoll gets through. If this Nikki is as resistant as Big V's Nikki, he might have a shot. Let's find out, guys, because we've got match point for True Will. Big V looking to stay alive, and he's got Laura going first.
Ooh, resistance on the Wooza, Ooh, probably 100%. Turn. And look how much attack bar. This Julian gets a chance, but now he can only go for the Laura because everyone else has immunity. Does he go for it? Yes, sir. Yes. Oh, looking for the stun, gets that stun as well. A little bit of damage coming in there. Obviously, uh, the Julian looking a little low, but not to worry because we've got shields and we've got that passive keeping him alive. Yeah, you definitely want to heal right now. No, he goes for the damage because there's no heal on the other side, so he doesn't care about healing. Gets the full strip. The full strip. And ooh, yes. no death break. That is so hurtful. The reduction right now, and the Oliver will get some turns. I don't know. I don't know, this is very dangerous. Gets a reduction, gets a reset, doesn't even use it because the Chung Pung has a third skill coming. It's oh, so the much despair control. stuns, despair yeah. Chung Pung. Getting double despair stuns right there on the Julian and the Ragdoll. Ragdoll's in a really bad place right now. He is in torrent range. I can't remember if he has that skill up or not, but at least he's not, definitely doesn't have that yeah. skill up anymore here. Wow. I don't know, Stoic. I think that the Chunk might have just won the match. That AoE strip hitting on anyone, on everyone, sorry. As a Chunk Pung user, I haven't seen that in years. <laughs> yep. Well, we've got more oppression coming here from Big V. Big V's got the provokes that can land on this field, keep any of these units back. There does land true. On top of that, Wusa has that third skill, soaking up that attack bar that's on top of Julian. Julian is in kill range right now. No initial turns coming out of that Nikki. Writing is on the wall for short. And this one, guys, we are going into a game five. Woo. Big V tying it up, taking us to game five for your SWC 2023 America's Cup Finals. Ooh, we got what we asked for, boys. We did. I mean, we knew it was going to come down to a game five. We had to. These two guys, both these players are so insane that it, it's just what it takes. It takes a game five to get through everything these guys want to draft. Yeah, exactly. These two players are fit for each other in these finals right now. There's so much on the line, and there are representatives. Of course we're getting a game five. <laughs> oh, that is be a best. beautiful way to end the day. And let's see what the last pre-bans on the day are going to be like. Are we seeing a Laura pre-ban here? What do you think, Stoic? And is Oliver making its way back to the chopping block? I, uh, I mean, I do think True Will is going to be taking the uh, cigar here. I think True Will is going to—that's going to be his first pick. So I don't think it makes its way in here. Chi Wu Laura, I think definitely fair pre-bans. Uh, True Will with the cigar first pick. I think he takes that away from Big V. Yeah, good point. Cigar has been very decisive. The Chi Wu, even though it didn't appear on the other one, still a priority for True Will. And I felt like he was very comfortable playing with this game plan, right? Yep, for sure. There's the unit. He's going to be taking that away here. Uh, Big V definitely going towards. Um, what was he? What was he taking before? Um, the uh, no, the Chi was banned here. Yeah, he normally would go for the Chi but when these were banned, he opted for a couple different ones. On the first one, he brought the Anavel, but he was completely controlled with it because the thing was, True Will brought on the second round the Wedget. So now he's trying to fight for speed and bring the Oliver. I like that option better with a segment, but the segment needs to hit that reset. That's what happened when True Will lost that game too. Yep, well, we'll see what happens if the Sekhmet can stay true for Big V, because he's got the 33 speed lead and the Sekhmet, he's demanding that turn one. Mm -hmm. I like the Wedget and I really like that more. We saw how quick that more was, the Water Ryu. Is he gonna bring it back up again or does he go for the Juno slash Volantis? The Volantis feels early if the Juno's not on the field. So Sean, I like that better. Yep, definitely. Mm, so it takes that Sean here. Uh, Big V, you know, does Big V take the Volantis? I, I, I don't even know. Let, let me tell you something. The Verd as a last pick, it still feels super strong for Big V. So now he has to decide, do I want to bring more contest or reactive gameplay? He brings the pure vanilla, very good unit into, well, so far only one passive, but he knows that True Will loves using more passives right here. And then the Nikki taken away. Yep, I think the Nikki is a great pick. This is something that Big V is able to, to utilize to its full extent here. I love this here. True Whale looking to wrap up his draft with a lot of things. I don't believe we could see... We, there is a world we see a June of Atlantis drop in here. There, there is a world there that is. we do see yeah. this. Yeah, I, I like that. I like the more that we talked about, and I like the Chung Pung. The only problem with these two picks is if we see something as a last pick like a juno is really strong into this right now i don't know if there's enough damage to kill her or a verta hill if you're thinking of banning that wedge jet once again but he played mind games last time and didn't ban the wedge jet so we, we know how hard it was to kill that bird it countered like six times for sure now is is the 33 speed lead Ooh. enough 
for for Sekhmet to go in front of the the 24 speed because I think we were, in, I don't uh, think we're so. potentially banning out the Oliver right now. Yeah, I think that an Oliver ban is fine. The thing is, does he know? Does he remember that the Moor was the fastest unit on the field and bans that to try to outspeed, or not risk it and ban the wedge ad in case something happens? I think that's the play. Yeah, I agree. I, I prefer that. It's a safer ban. Let's see what happens. The most important ban of the day. Goes to the Sean expected Oliver. Oliver. I don't know I the shot. Ten thousand dollar last game. Yeah, yep. on the line. I think Wedget looks very strong in this matchup. The last game of the day. Hear the crowd. The more takes turn one, as we said, and the Wedget closely following. Can he get strips right, right, right here, here, or does he not risk it so the Volantis doesn't counter? That's what uh. he does. Goes for the safe play. He doesn't want to risk anything. Been playing super consistently. Can Chung Fung do the same he did last match on the other side? Misses okay. right now, but he has a second opportunity with this <laughs> win them, Bison. Oh, and he oh, it. Yeah, it. Misses. The cleanse is coming out from the Nikki. That's but so well timed, though. The passive from Wedget will bring so much attack bar that this can this move in front of the segment. He reduces, and that guarantees that the Chung Pung has the reset. Oh, that's a really big opening right now for True Will. Mm -hmm. Pushing back the attack bar of the segment. I think segment might remain one of the units that he's trying to take out. It's a very easy oh, unit okay. to take out on this field right here. But it looks like he's going to opt to go for the Nikki instead. Serious matter is going to hit mm -hmm. this field, putting True Will at a very big advantage right now. But the one word we're looking for right now. There was some resist in there. Yeah, increased cool time on a couple of units, but a couple res. Now you need to control the Nikki. The Nikki's so dangerous. Keep bumbling at her. She has a death break on right now. So maybe with all of the monsters hitting her, you can drop her. But this stun on the Chung is super important. It really is. I think he's got to keep those stuns on that unit too. Keep that Chung Pung back as well. Ugh. It's looking like a comeback right now from this segment as she manages to land a lot of debuffs. I wouldn't even go for the reset right now. I just want to see. Oh, goes oh, for the reset. Go for the reset here. Yeah. We're going to see more damage coming towards this Nikki. True Wheel's got to take units out. If they're going to be low enough to kill, you got to take them out right now. She can even put the, the, the slow right now, and that's what she opts to, so his team is back. You need to remove the Nikki before she takes a turn because the slows are so important right oh. now. She refuses to die. Can he throw this on the wedge yet, or does he go for the more? I think he's got to go for the skill one to get the heal onto the oh, Nikki as well, so he's going to yeah. be looking for a stun with this Volantis. If he does get a stun with Volantis, it could actually turn things around, because I think he needs both the Wataryu and the more to go in to dis, uh, to keep this uh, uh, Nikki alive. Yeah, everything depends on some glancings right here landing, because like Evan says, glancing is healing, but he doesn't land the glancing on the more. He does have the slow, though, so he's going to yeah. lower the additional damage oh. here. That should be enough to finish off the Nikki, though. Nikki will be going home. She is out. It's a 4v3. The question right now is how much damage can Big V deal on two units with Death Break? Yeah, we'll okay. see. Because I, I think uh, True is going to be trying to shake that off here. Yeah, let's see if he can get some control out the door. Does he save it? Just go for skill one and tries to stun the Chunk Pung again. Oh, oh, he gets a double stun. Yeah, that was a lot of stuns coming out there. Yeah, it's a big opening right now because the Dark Pure Vanilla can throw that Oblivion finally. And she gops for the Wedge no of Misses it. Wow. I think he's still, I think he's got to go for skills. I think he still does. Um, I know he has the glancing on him. I, I feel you know like what? I would wait for it. I like his choice of being careful. He's been oh, super okay. consistent with the care, the extra. Also, keep in mind, I, I feel like we missed it. The Wajet was able to heal so much. All these negative uh -huh. effects that are laid across this field, Wajet's healing off all that. We've called it. Wajet is the key unit that's been showing up in this matchup. And once again, he's been doing so much. The silent killer resets the Chung Punk. The pure vanilla needs a big proc right here to be back in the match. Doesn't get it. The attack bar reduction can come in. And the Wajet is finally on his feet and using his skill two to give a lot of attack bar to his team members. Now, one once again, he like went and Bison. Can he land it? No. Absolutely nothing. But, but the damage. Out. The <laughs> damage. The yeah. The look at that more. Look at that more. The damage coming out from him. Okay. True Will looking very unstoppable right here. Even with a strip stun, you can do what you want. The additional damage coming okay. from these units. The wedge at wow. the more. And that's it. Yeah, you have it, man. True Will taking down Big V, and he is our America's Cup champion.
Congratulations, True Will. True Will is our America's Cup champion. True Whale at a loss for words. He truly deserves every bit of it. The dude played so well. Like he said, this was one of the milestones he was missing. Came here, and he got it. That yeah. Awesome. He farms the ladder, my friend. So <laughs> if you're at home, you know, don't waste all your time farming dungeons. Go to the ladder. Train. And he showed it. He picked and banned so well. Extremely dominant. Very secure. He didn't risk anything, guys. Did you see in that last match? He had turn one Aww. with the more, and he didn't even use it. Didn't use the AOE, so he couldn't risk. Yeah, look at this gameplay, though. Excellent play style from coming from, coming from True Whale. He really did a phenomenal job with everything that he brought to the table there. It was so wild to see the different, the, the, the levels, and honestly, the preparation homework that he put into playing uh, Big V as well. My man dropped the coldest line in SWC history and then made true on it. That was awesome. He farms the ladder, he farms the bracket. He did a great job. And he farmed SWC yeah. America's Cup. <laughs> <laughs> now on to the world finals, my friends. It's amazing to have two representatives like these to be in there and try to win it for the first time for America, for us. Yeah, two representatives of this caliber. We would have been lucky to have any of the participants who were here today. It's great to see Big V and True Whale headed to the finals to represent the entire region there in Thailand. And they've got their hands on a little bit of the prize pool today, but there's a lot more waiting for them over there. And today it was $10,000. True Whale has a lot to be excited about. I don't think I could muster up the words either, Stoic. No, it's so crazy to see that kind of emotion. You can just tell how invested we are, how invested we are into Summoners War in the game, in the community, and all of it here. You know, the emotion's so great to, to see in moments like this. Oh yeah, 100%. Big V played a good game, took us to a best of five, which is exactly what we wanted. That's how I like to have the bookend to such an incredible bracket, is five matches with our two representatives. Now we've got our America's Cup champion, and we got Big V, our runner-up, headed to the World Finals in November, Seppi. Yeah, very excited to see how these two are gonna do against the best in the world, you know? We know that APAC has won it already. We know that China has won it as well. So now is the time for America and for Europe to try to prove themselves and go in there and show what they're made of. That's right, there's stiff, a sti stiff competition over there. Look at this, the results of the finals. A full five rounds, guys. Yeah, full that five so rounds, awesome. that's the best way you could see that right now where it goes back and forth. What an excellent performance from both these players here. What a treat. Just give and take, give and take, and man, that wedge hat, let me tell you. <laughs> you really <laughs> yeah, you really around. does take. Yeah. <laughs> I loved it. It felt like such a treat watching all five of those games. I can't wait to see more of both of those players at the World Finals. And guys, for everybody at home, we want to say thank you for watching with us today. So here is the third coupon code of the day. EU, coming up in October. AKA my third chance to get Juno tonight. Thank you, everyone in chat, everyone at home. You're amazing. That's the reason why we do this. The community, the people. We love you. And thank you to Stoic for putting them all in Discord for us later. <laughs> <laughs> this was great. Why, cuz, take it away.